full install of Kodi 21. Yes, we have a full working version of Kodi 21, and we're going to show you how to install it on your Fire Stick. Could be your Fire Stick, Fire TV. This would also work on Android phones or Android TV, but I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. If you're brand new here, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Do remember to share the video and drop us your thoughts underneath. So this is it. This is it. This is your Kodi. Let me open it up. Let me load it up for the first time. Kodi 21. Fully working. Loading up now. And as you'll see there, Kodi 21 Omega. That's the one. So how do we get this? I'll show you a bit more of it in a second. How do we install it? First things you need to do, go to your magnifying glass. In here, you need to type in the word downloader. D-O-W, and you'll see downloader pop up underneath. Click that. Click it, and then install it. Get it installed. If you haven't got it installed, click it, install it. If you've already got it installed, bear with me. Once you've got it installed, do not open it. You're going to go back to your home screen. You're going to go all the way across to settings. You will then go down to My Fire TV. You will click on Developer Options. If you don't have Developer Options, you click on About, and you click on Fire TV Stick, your name of it, seven times. Once you've clicked it seven times, you go back and you have a Developer Options. OK, open up your Developer Options, turn ADB Debugging on, then Install Unknown Apps. You need to turn it on for Downloader, OK? If on install a no app, you just have a yes or a no, just turn it to yes. Brilliant. OK, back to your home screen. And what you need to do then is find this downloader app. So to do that, if you can't see it on your screen, go to the three squares and the plus where I am now. Go down to my apps and then you will find downloader in here, probably at the bottom. Click it and open it. Really important step now as it opens. As it opens, you must accept the permissions. OK, accept the permissions and accept what it asks you to do. If you do not, this next step will not work. OK, in here, you're going to enter a URL or search term. Um, we're going to my website. So you can either put in docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads, which will work in any web browser. Or if you're using the downloader app, you can type 75726. OK, both of them are linked underneath the video. You can use those directly on your mobile phone as well if you want to, the link's underneath, to test it out. So you then click Go. And what that will do, that will load up my website. It's redirecting us now. While you're waiting, there's another prime time to hit that subscribe button. Drop me your thoughts of the video underneath. OK. Once we get to my downloads page, you're going to scroll down. And you're going to keep going until you get to new updates, new APKs. You will see Kodi 21. Um, if it's not there because you're watching this video at a later time, scroll down to media players and you'll see Kodi 21 at the top. Click it. If any adverts pop up, just click close. Nice and easy. And then you can scroll down and click on the big download button. It's pretty obvious. So you click on that one. And that will download the latest Kodi for you. While it's downloading, so Kodi 21 we are doing today is the latest release candidate. So it's release candidate 2. This is pretty much the final release. Release Candidate 2 is normally the one before, bang, we're out, we're coming, it's there. Okay, so this is normal. Normally it would be out by now. Um, it's a bit later in the year than normal. So you click on your install, and then you click on done. Don't open it yet because you want to make sure you delete this file. You delete the file if you're on a Fire Stick so it doesn't take up all your storage. Push your home button. Once you're back on your home screen, Go back to that three squares and the plus, go to my apps, and in here you will find your Kodi. Again, probably at the bottom. Mine's at the top because I already had it installed. Remember, if you're installing this old, over an older version, it's a possibility the add-ons you did have will not work. Again, when it loads up, do remember to accept the permissions. Accept those permissions and accept everything it asks you to do, okay? Remember, Kodi version 21, release candidate 2, Omega, this is the latest version for you. Um, obviously, if you've got a working Kodi, you don't have to install the latest version. If your Kodi works perfectly fine, don't feel like you need to add the next one on. Obviously, you add these if you want to. Uh, these are very good for people who um, do a lot with Kodi or play with it a lot. But you don't have to release and use the latest version. Obviously, this video is showing you how to install Kodi, which is a media player. 
With Kodi, you can obviously add your own media to it if you want to. You can add some official add-ons, which are all in the add-on section. There's other add-ons out there you might want to use, but this video itself is showing you how to install the operating system, the media player, which is Kodi, okay? So to use it, there's other videos out there. There's other videos which might show you how to do other things with it, tips, tricks, a few things on our website, but we're not showing you how to bypass payments, get you free movies and TV shows. This is just to get the media player itself or upgrade your media player. Kodi itself, for those who don't know, like I say, is a media player. It's also in the Google Play Store. It's an official app in the Google Play Store. Um, 50 million plus downloads in the Google Play Store. And again, that is for your media sources, how you operate. Um, used to be Xbox Media Center back in the old days, things like this. So there's tons and tons of stuff there for you to try. Again, before we leave though, now we've covered the video. If you are using and streaming online, I would recommend using a VPN. If you're interested in a VPN, I will link IP Vanish VPN underneath. So what does a VPN do? A VPN will protect your Fire TV stick traffic, secure your streaming activity, simplify online safety, and surf the web without a trace. You may have seen lots of things online recently about dodgy Fire Sticks or whatever they want to call them. These sort of things just help you out a little bit and keep you safe online. But I'd recommend it even if you're not being dodgy because obviously it hides your IP address, stops people being able to track you, sell your data, sell your information. And the worst people for doing that, it's not the dodgy apps. It's the official apps because you don't realize what you agree to and then they can sell your information, your data, your stuff everywhere. So I'd recommend that. That's the cheapest price underneath. Again, also with this Kodi install, the link underneath for Kodi 21 will always be the latest version. So you can always use my link on any device. Not a problem. Brilliant. I'm going to be getting out of here. Um, like I said, do remember to hit subscribe if you're new here, a regular follower or a brand new follower. We've got plenty of videos for you, whether it's streaming apps, free apps, whether it's other Kodi versions, whether it's Fire Stick alternatives, Roku, Android TV, tips, tricks, streaming apps, movies, TV shows, all the videos you might want are all here. It might even be um, setting up your Fire Sticks. We've got videos for that. It might be the settings you need to turn off. It might be best websites you can use online. That sort of stuff is all here for you to use. All free. Every video we do is free. We don't have memberships or anything like that. But if you do want to help support the channel, getting that VPN does help us out because we do get a small commission and that does help support us. Not millions, it's $2.75 a month. Um, you're paying, so we're not going to become millionaires, but it does help us do what we do. Brilliant. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. I hope you like that video. I've been Doc Squiffy and I'll see you soon.